Hello and welcome to the session. Let us understand the following question today. A train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed. If the train would have been 10 km per hour faster, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. And if train was slower by 10 km per hour, it would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. Find the distance covered by the train. Now, let us first understand how we take out the speed. Speed is equal to distance upon time. And this is the formula which we will be using in the question. So, this is our key idea. Now, let us write the solution. Let the actual speed of train be equal to x kilometer per hour. And let the actual time taken is equal to y hours. So, distance covered is equal to speed into time from key idea. So, it is equal to x, y. Now, according to question, if speed is increased by 10 km per hour, then speed is equal to x plus 10 km per hour. In this case, time taken is reduced by 2 hours, which is equal to y minus 2 hours. Therefore, distance covered is equal to speed multiplied by time which is equal to x plus 10 multiplied by y minus 2 and which is equal to x, y which we have found here. So now solving this we get which implies x, y is equal to x, y minus 2x plus 10y minus 20 which implies this and this gets cancelled. So we are left with 2x minus 10y plus 20 is equal to 0. Taking two common from this equation we get it implies x minus 5y is equal to minus 10. This is our first equation. Now taking the other case when speed is Reduced by 10 km per hour, then speed is equal to x minus 10 km per hour. And in this case, time taken is Increased by 3 hours, which is equal to y plus 3 hours. Therefore, distance covered is equal to speed multiplied by time. which implies distance covered is x, y which is equal to 
x minus 10 multiplied by y plus 3. Now solving this we get this implies xy is equal to xy plus 3x minus 10y minus 30. Which implies this this get cancels. So we are left with 3x minus 10y is equal to 30. This is our equation 2. Now solving equation 1 and 2. We have x minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 10y minus 30 is equal to 0 are the equations 1 and 2. Now solving this Solving equation 1 and 2, multiplying equation 1 by 2, we get 2x minus 10y is equal to minus 20. And writing equation 2 as it is, that is 3x minus 10y is equal to 30. Now, subtracting. Do not forget to change the signs while subtracting. So, we see that this and this gets cancelled. And 2x minus 3x is equal to minus x, which is equal to minus 20 minus 30 is equal to minus 50. Now, this minus and minus gets cancelled and this implies x is equal to 50. Now, substituting x is equal to 50 in equation 1, we get equation 1 is x minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 0. x minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, x is equal to 50 minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 0. Which implies minus 5y is equal to minus 60. This minus and minus gets cancelled, which implies y is equal to 60 divided by 5, which gets cancelled by 12, which implies y is equal to 12. Now we see that x is equal to 50, which we have earlier assumed to be speed which we have earlier assumed to be speed and y is time so This is equal to speed and y is equal to 12 which is equal to time. So, distance is equal to x, y where x is speed and y is the time which is equal to 50 multiplied by 12 which is equal to 600 km. Hence, the required distance is equal to 600 km. I hope you understood the problem. Bye and have a nice day.